Okay, so welcome to part two, uh, tips and tricks how to be better in this game. So first of all, let's have a look how you can get victory points, because victory points are what is required to win this game. So you can get victory points by completing buildings and by completing your market barrels. You can also get them by going up on siesta track and by buying roof tiles. So let's have a look at what is the bottleneck in this game. So roof tiles, I'm starting with them so we can dismiss them. Roof tiles, they don't require you any action. You can buy as many of them as you can, provided you have enough gold. But there are only five tiles that you can buy and you have six rounds. So you don't need to buy a tile in each round. Ideally, you have to buy all five they will in total give you 10 victory points. So try and plan your game a little bit so you can buy all five. You can probably skip one round, but you need to buy all five. Then in terms of siesta, each step on siesta is normally is a trade-off for your deliveries. So you with these tokens, you can either do a delivery or you get a siesta. So let's have a look at how valuable each one is. So, in order to get one victory point on siesta track, you need to use two steps. In some cases, even three steps to get one victory point. Uh, meaning that two siestas equal one victory point. Uh, there is an additional bonus. You will be going first in the second round. That's very situational, so just determine yourself how valuable going first is, but normally it's pretty average. So let's have a look at how valuable the deliveries are. So with the cards, they usually require you three, four, sometimes two resources. Let's look at a couple of cards as an example. So two resources, meaning that you will need to do two deliveries, and this card will give you two victory points. With the four resources, you will get five victory points. There are cards that can give you six victory points for four resources as well. So deliveries will yield you either one or one and a half victory points. And siesta, it's only half victory points. So in general, you should be doing as many deliveries as possible and do as less siesta as possible. Deliveries are just two, three times better than a siesta. So now let's look at the additional deliveries, payday deliveries. So normally you pay one gold for an extra delivery and at the end of the game five gold, you don't see this on the board, but at the end of the game five gold will be equal to one victory point. Meaning that you pay a fraction of a victory point to make an additional delivery and you get at least one, maybe one and a half victory points back. So meaning that you should be doing as many additional deliveries as possible. The only problem with that is uh, the limiting factor is resources. Uh, but I suggest to focus on deliveries to as many as possible. Um, and only reduced number of deliveries if you don't have resources for that. So now the question is how you can get more. You can add these cards on the right side. So each card, when placed on the right side of the board, will be increasing the total number of paid deliveries. And as we already determined, each extra delivery is at least one victory point. Now, if you ask, what if you don't deliver to the market barrels? What if you deliver to the craft buildings? So let's say you deliver to this building. So you need to do six deliveries. And let's say you do this in the last round. Completing this building will give you six victory points. Each delivery will yield you one victory point for that, which is useful and still much better than siesta. So now we have established that deliveries better than siesta. Now let's have a look at what deliveries are better. So for this building, 
you need to do six deliveries and let, let's have a look at the last round as an example for this building you do six deliveries and you get six victory points this building you do three deliveries and you still get your six victory points so you know if you're going to this building for points it's better to focus on those that have less deliveries as a requirement but the more general question is what's better craft buildings or your market barrels and in general they are more or less balanced the only consideration here is you need to choose one of them so you're either focusing on these craft buildings uh, and doing multiple of them you can increase the efficiency by doing this building first because it will give you extra two victory points for every consecutive building or you should complete this building so that you get this token which will give you an additional one victory point for every crown building that you complete so you generally choose one of the two directions either do this building and then focus on the crown buildings or this building and then focus on your market barrels so this is general strategy and it can get you win the game by itself but now a couple of last tricks when you're buying roof tiles you should focus on uh, deliveries if they're available take them because any resource effectively is worth just maybe like half a point or up to a point um, you can exchange them, them for money which cost victory points at the end of the game but delivery itself is at least one one and a half so with roof tiles take deliveries now another thing is with the dice roll so you can see multiple locations over here just remember that delivery is again at least one one and a half victory points which is higher than any other location so if delivery is available take it then the other thing very useful is the card so cards allow you to improve efficiency of your board itself a card placed as a farm extension gives you up to six resources during the game so in the later games in the later rounds it's probably not as efficient it will only give you maybe one two resources depending on how many rounds has left cards on the right they always give you an additional not always but they often give you an additional delivery which you can use and the last trick is with the pigs so you would want to get a pig as soon as possible the reason why is because you can sell them so if you get a pig from a dice roll and put it over here you also start a game with one crate you can exchange it for another pig which means that you will get two pigs in round one what it will do is in the second round when we get to step number three in phase one pigs will produce they will give you a piglet provided there is enough space for it and then you can sell it immediately to get three gold effectively it means that you can keep two pigs during the entire game to get an income of three gold for every round which is a bit easier than getting income from this building then you can use your money to get these roof tiles that's pretty much it so good luck like and subscribe if you like this video have a good day